Henrico school leaders will be adjusting schedules for middle and high school students, and they met tonight to talk about their plans to bring back more students to in-person learning. Our Matthew Fultz has the story. School is back in session, but students are learning virtually in Henrico County. Thursday, school board members met to discuss the best plan to get them back in the classroom. What we call the health committee update, where we review health metrics that help guide our thinking and eventually our decision making on when we can expand our in-person learning. Director of Communications Andy Jink says some students are already seeing their teachers in person. Right now we still have opportunities where preschoolers and kindergartners are going into buildings for one-on-one -on -one meet and greets and tours with their teachers. Our elementary schools are going to make more opportunities available for students in grades one, two, and three so parents should expect communication from their schools about those opportunities as staffing and health conditions allow. Jink says the district is looking at ways to bring high schoolers back, starting with technical programming students. And because they do a lot of hands-on instruction in the various trades and other uh, occupations and certifications that those students are learning. Jink says the district is already preparing to make sure the buildings are safe. We're buying the PPE. We're installing the plexiglass. We're reimagining bus transportation and food service because we've got to do that work now so that if and when that recommendation comes, we'll be ready for it. Jink says the health committee will be presenting a recommendation to the board next month to determine how the next nine weeks will look and if more students will be able to return to the classroom. We're working toward the outcome of having all students back in our building. But we know no matter what, there's still going to be a virtual option for our employees and for our students. And so we'll have that running simultaneous with uh, returning to school at some point in time. Working for you in Henrico County, Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News. And according to a tweet from Henrico School Superintendent Amy Cashwell, she says students' schedules are being changed Tuesday of next week in response to feedback the county has received. Each middle and high school period will be shortened by 15 minutes daily, excluding the repeating first period for high school students, which has been shortened by 10 minutes every day. The district says this will give staff an additional hour for planning, instructional support, and office hours.